Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to cover knife edge conditions. We've been talking a lot about this hawk dove game lately. The idea here was that two individuals, whether they be humans or even animals, are involved in a conflict over some good valued at V. They can choose a warlike hawk stance or a peace-like dove stance. And if they both choose the hawk stance, then they'll get into a war over this good. They'll both pay a cost C and they'll essentially fight for it. Now, this is supposed to represent a naturally occurring phenomenon that is actually recurring. This covers a ton of different cases. We could think of this as a bunch of different wars in the history of humankind. We can think of it as a bunch of different territorial conflicts between animals, something that occurs over and over and over again naturally. And so to cover all of those situations, we had to be as general as possible with this game. So instead of having exact values for what the value V of the good was, we just left it blank. We just said it's a value V, V is greater than zero. And if they get into a fight, it's costly for them. They pay a cost, C is greater than zero. So we kept this as general as possible to cover all of these naturally occurring phenomena. And we found out that the equilibrium of this game depended upon those exogenous parameters. We found that if V over two was greater than C, then Hawk strictly dominated Dove for both players. So Hawk Hawk was the unique equilibrium in that case. But if V over two was less than C, this game changed to a game of chicken essentially. And there were two pure, two pure strategy Nash equilibria there. One was Hawk Dove, the other was Dove Hawk. And then there was also this mixed strategy Nash equilibrium where both players played Hawk with probability V over 2C and Dove with complementary probability. If you were paying close attention to this, you would have noticed that I left a case that was conspicuously absent. So we have V, is, v over 2 is less than C. We have V over 2 is greater than C. We don't have what happens when V over 2 equals exactly C. Why didn't I solve for that? It seems a little pertinent, doesn't it? Well, the answer is that we actually don't really care about this. This is what's called a knife edge condition. And whatever equilibrium would come out of this would be a knife edge equilibrium. We can define a knife edge equilibrium as an equilibrium that exists only when an exogenous variable is exactly equal to a specific value. So here, for this to be the case, for this knife edge condition to occur, for us to get this knife edge equilibrium, we would have to have V over 2 is exactly equal to C. If it were just a little bit bigger than that, then we'd be in this case. If it were just a little bit smaller than that, we would be in this case. So we're only interested, when, interested in this when V over 2 is equal to exactly C. We call it a knife edge equilibrium, and as it turns out, we don't really care too much about such equilibria. If you're reading a journal article or a manuscript and the game has a knife edge equilibrium in it, you'll see that if that knife edge equilibrium is solved for at all, it tends to be in the appendix. Usually the author will just say, for completeness, I'll solve this knife edge condition in the appendix, but I'm not going to base my finding off of that. And sometimes it might just leave it out entirely because it really doesn't matter all that much. Why does it not matter that much? Well. Essentially, equilibria need a place to stand. You can't stand on C is equal to exactly V over 2. That's just a single point. There is, however, depth to C is between 0 and V over 2, and C is between V over 2 and infinity. There's depth to both of those cases. There's no depth to this case. Essentially, you're looking at a knife that's placed with the blade pointing upward, and you're trying to stand on that knife. If you were to try to stand on that knife, you would just slice right through your foot because it's just so thin. You can't reliably place your finding off of that one particular case because in the real world, is that naturally going to occur? Will C be exactly equal to V over two? Well, the odds of that are laughably small, if not zero. And depending upon the way you interpret this, there is some advanced probability theory that we won't cover in this video, but we'll cover in a different video would act that would actually tell you that this knife edge condition cannot possibly occur. But, you know, taking that aside, even if you were to believe that we have a bunch of different possible values, the odds that this one particular value that would be uh, the case is just so laughably small that you can't reliably base your findings off of that particular case. This C is equal to exactly V over 2. Now, I do need to stress, though, that we're talking about naturally occurring phenomenon here. It could be the case that we have an artificial game, but literally a game that a human has created to have these specific payoffs, which create a knife edge condition. So. This is a knife edge condition for a hawk dove game. This was V over two is exactly equal to C that reduced these payoffs, which were V over two minus C before to just zeros. Now this is 
what we would call a friend or foe or golden balls game. So friend or foe is a game show in the United States. Golden balls is a game show in the United Kingdom. And the dollar values that the players play for in this game literally match up to this knife edge condition of the Hawk Dove game. However, we consider this to be distinct from a naturally occurring Hawk Dove game. So this was the naturally occurring Hawk Dove game. This was the knife edge condition, which we think of as something entirely separate. It's almost as though that this is a separate ent entity from the naturally occurring Hawk Dove game. And in fact, you know, you can think of it as uh, a separate entity just because it is artificial. A human did create this friend or foe game. So we're not really interested in the the knife edge condition when we're talking about the naturally occurring game, we might be interested in this condition if we're talking about, well, if we were trying to analyze this friend or foe game show or this golden balls game show. And I won't cover that in this video. We'll actually get that, get to that in a couple of videos because it will illustrate an important point about mixed strategies. But for now, just leave it as this. If we're talking about naturally occurring games, we are not interested in knife edge conditions, which is why we don't tend to solve for them unless we are interested in artificial conditions like we will be when we talk about friend or foe. I hope that made sense. It's a little bit of a complicated point, but nevertheless, it's important. I'll see you next time.